What's up, YouTube? My base is a mess. Everything is a mess. I don't know what's going on. So much is destroyed. Air is still a problem. Yeah, I just... Everything's a mess. <laughs> That's the takeaway. Is there a way to get robots to automatically replace destroyed stuff? That would be pretty huge. That robot that automatically repairs things is more and more tempting. It requires silicone and coal, I think. Don't I have those somewhere? Here. No, it's lead. Silicone and lead. There has to be somewhere that I already have lead and silicone next to each other. This has a bunch of oil. I don't know what I'm doing with oil yet. I bet oil does steam generators or something. No. But spores can go into here. Combustion generator might be able to use oil. Nope. How am I doing with power? Oh, okay, that one's cut off. <laughs> like, why did that show zero? Okay, it is low. It's still extremely low. I wonder if I just have generators cut off from the network. That definitely could be the case. God, a hundred something enemies right now on the map. Fifty. I feel like they're just still leaking through. Okay, what's going on? Why don't these connect? I just need a power anti-air. God, they're destroying all my stuff. I need more lead. I feel like having these wave towers up to up front might help. What about hail? Small long range artillery. It doesn't say if it's ground or air. I would assume that is ground, but maybe not. Scorch is short range. Okay, hail needs what for ammo? Can this work as ammo? No. Okay, my power is filling up again. Okay. Just 
destroyed my mender. Among many other things, like my arcs. I'm still not seeing leads flow through. That scares me so much. I think they're just still filling up all these guns, but that's not good. I need more lead. I need something that can make use of all this titanium. Honestly. Like, do I run this lead all the way to those guns? I only have two waves left, but if this is what's needed to save me, then I do it. Okay, they died quick that time, at least. Light's coming. This is the ugliest thing in the world, but if it works... Okay, just destroy that one gun. Blade's coming. Okay. Lead is actually backed up down here. But it's still not making it all the way down. It's only to here. That's fine. It's not backing up anywhere, so it's being used. Wave 49. What other stupid stuff do they have disconnected? Okay, at least the sheet metal will start making it. Everything's making it in just slowly. My copper's way down, but that's okay. Okay, let's reconnect this copper. I guess that doesn't matter if it mixes. Okay, I'm going to actually launch. 100% going to happen. Why did I disconnect this? Or did something come shoot it? Something probably came and shot it. Oh no, I was afraid that that uh, sorter was going to offload to the sides or something crazy. I remember. Anti-air is my next priority to figure out better. Kind of too late to be doing this now, but whatever. Hook it up. A 
surprisingly, a lot of the stuff was still running that whole time. This base is so crazy. 8,000, 8,000, 9,000, 6,000. Filling up on a lot of stuff. It's just these two. Graphite and sheet metal. Silicone, I got a ton. At least there's that. Power is full. Not that it matters because I'm not going to let another wave start. It's not going to happen. Don't I have whatever the thing is that goes under? Bridge. I don't know why I'm even bothering with that. I just wanted to. This one's not even hooked up. But it could be. Okay, so I ran this down here to try and add water to exactly one. Of these miners. Just to that one. <laughs> Not worth it at all. 50 seconds. Pay attention. Don't get distracted. Hopefully I'll be able to unlock some cool stuff. I think I shipped off a lot of materials. I think, I think, I think I did. Except for sheet metal. That one I needed to start making a lot earlier. Let's launch. Okay. Sheet metal, I still got 5,000. Some of these, 24,000, 36,000, 20,000, 20,000, SS. Okay. Titanium conveyor. There we go. Armored conveyor. Phase conveyor. Okay. Titanium walls. Large titanium walls. Beautiful. Doors. Okay. Large door, so that'll be more robot stuff, I'm guessing. Thorium. I need thorium. Plastanium. Okay, so thorium and plastanium I need to send back. What other stuff? Phase fabric. Laser drill. Allows drilling even faster through laser technology but requires power capable of mining thorium water extractor huh. so I don't need surface water for that one probably just power coal centrifuge oil into chunks of coal okay multi press an upgraded version of the graphite press okay Plastonium compressor produces plastonium from oil and titanium. Separator separates slag into its mineral components. Outputs the cooled results. Okay. Pulverizer. Sand from scrap. That doesn't sound fun. Mixes water and fine titanium powder into... Cryofluid, essential for thorium reactor usage. This game sounds like it's going to get super confusing really quick. Liquid tank, pulse conduit, an advanced liquid transport block, transports liquid faster and stores more than standard. Cool. Rotary pump, power to do more liquid, large battery, cool. Mend projector. An upgraded version of the Mender repairs blocks in its vicinity, optionally uses fa 
face fabric to boost range and efficiency. Repair point continuously heals the closest damage unit in its vicinity. Force projector creates a hexagonal force field around itself protecting buildings and units inside from damage. Overheats if too much damage is sustained. Optionally uses coolant to prevent overheating. Shield size using the field fabric. Command center. This sounds awesome. Wait. Issues mute. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. Issues movement commands to uh, allied units across the map causes units to rally, attack at enemy core, or retreat to the core factory. When no enemy core is present, units will default to patrolling under the attack command. So far, they just sit there. Wraith Fighter Factory. Hit and run interceptors. Flying guys. Ghoul Bomber Factory. I think I want these wraiths. Cool. So, that's all kinds of large power node. There we go. Battery diode. Can only fl flow one direction. Okay. Thermal generator. Generates power when placed in hot locations. Differential generator. So this will be when there's hot and cold, probably. Yeah, tef temperature difference between cryofluid and burning pyrite. Blast Mixer crushes and mixes clusters of spores with pyrite to produce blast compound. I keep missing stuff. Stores a small amount of items of each type. An unloader block can be used to retrieve items from the container. Okay. Unloader. Yeah. Unloads. So that just lets me build up a buffer. Which would have been nice for, like, that lead when I was trying to do anti-air a vault. Salvo, a larger, more advanced version of the duo turret, fires quick salvos of bullets at the enemy. That's big. Ripple, an extremely powerful artillery turret, shoots clusters of shells at enemies over long distances. Those both sound nice. Okay, I think I have everything unlocked that I can unlock now. I keep missing stuff. Core database. I'm a good part of the way through having things unlocked. Play. Campaign. Do I quickly jump into one and get my beginning started? I can unlock this. Uncover it. It doesn't have anything too cool. It has, like, actual requirements. Use dagger and crawler units. Maybe I don't actually need new materials. I can probably make use of the current ones to do what I need. Fungal Pass. A transition between high mountains and lower... Spore-ridden lands. A small enemy reconnaissance base is located here. Destroy it. Use dagger and crawler units. Take out the two cores. I guess I do it. Wow. It starts me with a big start. Dagger mech factory. Okay. I want copper. I can afford a few of these. Maybe I didn't want to use those, though, for copper. Tough call. Okay, I can't actually access a bunch of these middle ones. I'm stupid. I have three minutes till start, so I can pull down those defenses. Those defenses suck. Matic drill. Okay, 
copper's coming. Um, beyond that... What is this thing? Steam generator. Okay. I get to start with power. I need lead miners. I should have used my better miners for lead. Nope. That block's in this one. I have a minute and 31 seconds. I'm gonna get this first wave going and then I'll end the video. That's the plan. Ooh, there's enemies there. I don't actually know like how the waves work for this one. One of these is doing sand, not that one. This one. Okay, stop shooting me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> decided to try and build a little bit too close. Also, what are you doing? Oh, you can't build those. Got ya. Okay, no, it's spawning bad guys. I gotta get up there. Nice thing is I do have those daggers there. We would like, ooh, sorter, routers. What's the better duo that it said that I would get? They require other stuff. Wait, can I just sit here? Can. That thing was what was giving them shields, I think. No, that was just a repairer. Okay. I need more mechs. I have coal, I have copper. What are these guns? Scatter can shoot ground? I thought it was air. I know I'm supposed to be ending this, but I want to see if Scatter just <laughs> destroys them, kind of. Okay. Except for little details like that. Stop! Let's go blow them up. Okay, where's my robots? I need silicone, graphite silicone. Silicone seems like a big thing. I really just want to see this thing fire. Okay, let's at least get some miner going.
That does attack ground, it looks like. Oh! Maybe this gun attacked me because I'm air. It almost definitely did. I want to kill that. Yes, I got it. Okay. Come on. I know I should just be building stuff, but kind of having fun destroying stuff. Taking out their core. Look at that. Just build duos. These guys should start taking stuff out, except they can't shoot that far. Okay, I should actually be making my robot factories. I'm just having fun. Alright, that does it for this episode. Next time I'll come in and actually start building stuff and teching up my resources. All that good stuff. Thanks for watching.